What's up, Cog Gang? All right, welcome back to this mechanics problem. Uh, so we have this 100 millimeter long rod, and we're given all this stuff, including Poisson's ratio. And our goal is to find the change in diameter of this rod. All right, so we're going to stretch that rod out. It's going to become longer, and the diameter is going to shrink. So our goal is to find that change in diameter. So let's go ahead and do that. So the basis that we're going to use for this is called Poisson's ratio. It's that this V here is equal to negative epsilon lat over epsilon long. Right? So lat is how much it expands outward, and then long is how much it expands outward. So this is a strain, right? A normal strain. So let's go ahead and find the normal strain. So we're given Poisson's ratio is 0.35, and we want to find probably the strain in the long direction, and then we can find the strain in the lateral direction with that ratio right there. So let's solve for that, right? So the equation we're going to be using is that uh, normal stress is equal to the modulus of elasticity times the shear, or the strain in the normal, right? So we're looking for long right now. So I'm just gonna keep it that way. So let's expand this, because we're solving for this, and we know the elasticity is 70 GPA, but we don't know the stress. So this can be written as uh, force over area is equal to E epsilon. So now let's divide by E, so we get that P over AE is equal to epsilon. So now we know all these things, right? Um, so let's just go ahead and solve. So P is that 100 kilonewton force, so let's start 10 kilonewtons. So let's see, how did I write this? Uh, did I get it right? I think it's 10 kilonewtons, so 10,000, 100,000, 10,000, yeah, over area. So area is gonna be pi over diameter, or pi over four, diameter squared, so 15 squared. And then uh, the GPA, 70 GPA. So it's in gigapascals, so we're gonna need to convert that to just normal pascals. Uh, with that being said, uh, this is in millimeters squared, so this is 10 to the negative six. GPA is 10 to the ninth, so we just need to put a 10 to the third here. Okay, and this gives you 0 0.000808 millimeters per millimeter, and that's epsilon, right? Epsilon long. Okay, so now we can use Poisson's ratio. So Poisson's ratio, 0 0.35, right? We're using this equation up here. It's gonna be equal to negative epsilon lat over epsilon long, which is this 0 0.000808, right? Do this, you get epsilon lat is equal to negative 0 0.00 0283 millimeters per millimeter. All right, so, oh, I must spell. <laughs> okay, so that's not the answer yet, right? That's our uh, epsilon, that's our um, strain, right? Or uh, normal strain, but normal strain isn't the answer. So the equation for normal strain, right? It's equal to change over epsilon, or not epsilon, but length original, right? So in this case, length is diameter, and delta is the change in diameter. So let's plug that in. Negative 0 0.000283 is equal to delta over L, which is our original diameter, which is 15. Cool, so now we're just gonna multiply that over, and you're gonna get that the change in diameter is equal to negative 0 0.00424 millimeters. That's our solution, right? So this is a pretty equation-heavy, uh, pretty equation-heavy solution, right? It's just about knowing your equations and plugging in the numbers. But yeah, uh, it's just, as long as you know these equations, uh, these questions are pretty simple. So yeah, good luck on your homework. Check out my uh, playlist if you have any more uh, mechanics and materials questions, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.